Energy today is about everything we do. When it comes to night time and everyone, everyone is in the darkness, that alone is preventing these development outcomes. Energy programming touches on so many of the different sectors that Mercy Corps works in. So economic development, you need um, energy to be able to grow small businesses, you need energy um, for nutrition to be able to cook healthy meals. Um, so much of poor families' uh, income is devoted to energy purchase, and so if you can reduce those costs, then people have more money to spend on food. D-Lab's Off-Grid Energy Group supports organizations looking to develop energy access programs in off-grid communities where they work. The toolkit is intended for organizations looking to conduct energy needs and market opportunity assessments. It helps them gather information about current energy access and expenditures, aspirational energy needs, as well as understanding the supply chain and stakeholder landscape. Since 2015, MIT D-Lab has been partnering with Mercy Corps to develop the Energy Assessment Toolkit. Through conducting trainings with the country teams in Mali, Nigeria, and Niger, we have iterated and improved the toolkit to better meet the needs of the country teams. This week, we first of all start with the training theory, and then we came down to the tools that we use in this assessment. And then after this theory, we went for field practice, which gave us the opportunity to interview um, people based on the tools that we go through theoretically and then we conduct again the focus group. And all this process, we came back and then find out what works well during the field practice and what we need to improve so that we can adapt these tools in our context. The assessment toolkit contains data collection tools, data analysis and visualization tools, and training and supporting documents to guide you through the assessment process. Each context has its realities, and each, each context has its needs for solutions. And sometimes you cannot just copy and paste. When I saw um, the result from the, the assessment they did in Mali, and the one they did in Nigeria, at that point we said, um, I think it is important that we do the same thing here. And exactly that's what I can recommend to any country that really want to work in energy. So when we learned about the opportunity to work with MIT on this energy assessment, I think the first thing that drew me to the opportunity was that um, there's so little information about energy access here in Mali, um, especially in rural areas. What, what really was interesting to me was the fact that it wasn't just kind of a household level energy use or aspirational use survey, but that um, there was a big focus on looking at markets, looking at supply chains. Uh, working with Eric and D-Lab was really great. I found that he's someone that's very rigorous and yet very flexible. He actually took into account a lot of the people that he worked with, a lot of their suggestions, a lot of their ideas to actually keep on uh, refining the process. I think unlike other partners who maybe come in with their own agenda of what they themselves or their organization wants to accomplish or wants to, to do in a country, um, D-Lab's mission from the beginning was to try and help Mercy Corps have the technical insights and the um, assessment skills that we need to be able to inform our programming. In each and every one of our um, of Mercy Corps countries, where again I said, where we really feel like energy is one of is a is is a big issue to development, we should be conducting this assessment. Conducting the assessment about uh, the energy needs will help develop programs which respond to the most important needs of the communities. It's great both to help inform our programming, but then also as a tool for advocacy and just helping to raise awareness of the importance of energy programming um, through what's a really kind of more innovative and more market-based and more sustainable approach. D-Lab's Energy Assessment Toolkit is open source and available online. It is intended for use by organizations ranging from small-scale enterprises to community health organizations and international NGOs. Thank you.